Welcome to my small series of tutorials on how to edit underwater footage from start to finish using DaVinci Resolve. The basic version of DaVinci Resolve is 100% free and comes with more than enough features to get you started. To get your free version, go to their homepage, uh, scroll to the bottom and click on download now. Choose your operating system, I'm using Windows, fill in all your details and then click register and download and away you go. Once you have downloaded and installed Resolve, launch the app and you'll get a project window. Click on the new project button and um, then label, then give your project a name. Okay, when you launch DaVinci Resolve, you will get a screen like this. Um, at the bottom, there are a number of tabs. Um, I like to call them pages. We're gonna start by getting our footage actually into Resolve. So we are going to click on the media tab and we get something like this. Um, up here, you will get all of your hard drives. You can see this by a thumbnail view, which it is at the moment, or you can also see it as a list, depending on how you want to find everything. So I have all of my things stored in John user data, uh, pictures, and then I've got everything organized by date. So I think what I'm looking for is the 23rd of the 6th. And we get all of our movies. Um, you can then click back onto the thumbnail view at the top here, and you will then see all of the clips from that day. One very useful thing is the scrub. You can actually check all your clips to make sure what's actually in them before you import them. So once we've found all of our imported footage, probably one of the best things you can do first is delete all the crud. You're always gonna have clips that are terrible that you didn't catch anything. And these are just gonna hog up your hard drive. So it's very easy on this. You can make it big just by clicking on it and scrub through it. This is the, the play bar. Um, you can actually scrub through your footage by just dragging it left and right. See if the clip's any good. Like, especially when you're doing black water, you've got so much out of focus footage where you're chasing these tiny little things around the place. So this one is not very good. So if we want to delete this, we can just right click, delete permanently. Click on that, click delete, then just click okay. So scrub through all of your clips, anything rubbish you can delete and go through all of your clips until you've only got the good footage you want to work with. Now to get the clips into our media pool of what we're actually going to edit, there are multiple ways. You could actually just drag this whole folder and drop it down here, which would bring everything in. Um, that's one way to do it. I'm gonna delete that now. I'm gonna go to master. I'm gonna right click and remove this bin. A uh, bin is another name for a folder in the video editing world. So just think of bins as folders. We could also make a new bin and just call it black water. Then we're just gonna only drag a few clips. We don't need all of this for the tutorial. So we have a nice jellyfish. Okay, we'll use him. We're gonna drag him into black water. Oh, we've got another clip with the same jellyfish, lit a little bit differently, which will be good later to try and match them up. Um, so, I'm going to drag this into black water. I also had this squid at the, the end of the dive, um, so uh, we're going to drag him in as well. Okay, we've got three black water clips. I'm also going to get a couple of uh, normal clips from the day, uh, just to show some color correction later. This is how we get our clips into DaVinci. Um, next episode, we'll actually get into uh, editing and arranging the clips. Later, we'll do some color correction, some effects, and a few other little things and try and make a movie out of all of our clips. So thank you for watching and I hope you uh, follow the series.